everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from Python's Run. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. We're on episode 78, my friends, and today we're going to be working on the area behind me. Not with those houses up there, but specifically with this area right here. Now, as you can see, it's a bit of a torchy, flowery mess. And in today's episode, I'd really like to go ahead and convert it into a much, much nicer looking area. Now, what we're going to be going ahead and doing is using the same kind of design here as what we did with the farm in Flora Valley. You remember that little mound of fat? It'd probably be easier if I showed you, right? So if we just head over uh, this way and land real quick. Yes, so this is the kind of design I want to go for for the for the area I just showed you guys. So we've got all the leaves and the glowstone flowers, uh, long grass, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but in addition to that, I'd also like to try and dot around some trees up there because, you know, it is a very, very large area and I feel like having trees might just be the way to go. So, guys, I want to go grab myself some resources and we're going to do some building together. Alrighty, guys. So, we're going to have a quick sleep and we're going to make a bit of a start on this thing, my friends. As you can see in my inventory, we've got ourselves a whole bunch of decorative stuff that we're going to need. Uh, glowstone, grass, bone meal, oak leaves, uh, cool dirt, and some various other bits and bobs as well. So, uh, I think maybe a good starting point might be to put down some trees or at least attempt to put down the trees because as you guys know, there's quite a lot of elevation changes around here, right? So we might struggle to get some types of trees to grow. But, I mean, we should be able to get some at the very least. Like maybe, for example, can we chuck one in here? Yeah, look at that. We've got one going on in there. That's pretty cool. All right. And yeah, we'll maybe start chucking some birch ones down. Yeah, why not? We're going to try and make this thing look once again like a, a flower forest because as you can see, it looks a bit blank at the moment. And I think it would be a nice idea to sort of uh, reinstate it, reinstate it, if you will. So uh, maybe we have one over here. Yeah, why not? Okay. Uh, maybe we head down this way. Could we potentially grow one in here? Oh, look at that. We've got a big oak one. Fantastic. That's actually really cool. All right. Uh, what about over here? Let's have one in here. This is probably going to... Oh, God. <laughs> I thought the tree grew inside me for a minute there. I got a little bit worried for a moment. Uh, right. Well, I have one in here. All right. Looking good. And what about over this way? Could we potentially squeeze one in on the corner? Hmm. I mean, I'd, I'd say so. Right. Hopefully. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Another giant oak tree. Hey, that's that's pretty cool. All right. So maybe could we potentially get one in there? Yep, looking good. All right, we're making some good progress so far, my friends. And if you haven't noticed already, I'm trying to space these things out reasonably evenly uh, just to make it look a little bit better, I guess. Uh, could we potentially squeeze one in somewhere around here, like maybe there? I hope so. Yep, there we go. Oh, that's just a normal one. Okay, that's really, really cool. All right. And I don't know if we're actually going to be able to grow any trees, like, at all on these lower sections. But, I mean, I guess we could always... Oh, oh gosh, darn it. We could always give it a go. Yeah, that one's not working, is it? All right. Well, uh, yeah. Hmm. Well, maybe at this point, we'll just kind of give up on the tree idea and we just go for the rest of the other ideas, I guess. So, yeah, maybe the next thing we do is work on the lighting. I'd very much like to go ahead and get rid of all of the torches that surround this area and just just have a bunch of glowstone behind leaves. I mean, this is going to be quite a tall task because, you know, it is a, it is a much larger area than the other areas we've converted into these sorts of decorations. So, yeah, it's going to it's going to take a while. But you know what? For you guys, it's worth it. So we're going to go ahead and just make a bunch of progress, I guess. I'm going to continue trying to plant down some trees, perhaps. Uh, these ones are going to... Yep, that one's growing. All right, fantastic. Maybe we can squeeze one in down here. Yep. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, what about down the bottom here? I mean, it looks like there's plenty of room to do some stuff down here. Like, maybe we could chuck one in... If I get rid of that. Yep, there we go. Now it grows. Fantastic. All right, looking good. Uh, we could potentially get one in here as well. You know how it goes. So yeah, guys, I'm going to continue on and I'll bring you guys back with a progress update, hopefully very shortly. Alrighty guys, so check it out, we're working well into the night and well into the rain my friends And as you can see, I've removed quite a lot of torches from around here I'm rather liking the tree distribution around here I think this is looking really really nice so far my friends So yeah, as you can see we've got a bunch of glowstone behind the leaves I've sadly run out of glowstone at this point So 
We'll try and do as much as we can, but I think I think I've got some more glowstone back at the uh, the out of this world storage facility. So that shouldn't be too much of a difficult thing to figure out. But anyways, in the meantime, we got ourselves a whole bunch of coarse dirt, and all we're going to do very very simply is start spreading it throughout this place. And obviously, you know, once we've done that, we can start bone mealing the ground and also bone mealing some of this uh, grass that I've got here. And we should be able to make ourselves a nice looking area here, my friend. I think this is going to look really, really cool, uh, you know, once we've got ourselves a whole bunch of stuff going. So, uh, probably the easiest idea would be to put that in our offhand, and then we just start casually placing some of this stuff in. Like I always say, there's no real system to doing this. You literally just replace random blocks and hope that it works. So, do you know what? That's exactly what I'm going to go and do, my friends. And, yeah, I'll bring you guys back for another progress update, hopefully very, very shortly. All right, guys. So, how about it? So, as opposed to just using coarse dirt to add a bit of texture variation, I also decided, as you can see in front of me, to introduce path blocks into it. It was completely accidental. I had the coarse dirt in my offhand, and I was just right-clicking with the shovel to try and place it, and every now and again, I just accidentally put path blocks down. But you know what? If you look at it now, it actually looks pretty decent, doesn't it? I actually really, really like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm very happy with that. Okay, cool. Right. Uh, I'll tell you what. We've got ourselves a couple more saplings. I think I might be able to squeeze in a couple trees, like, down the bottom here or something like that. So, uh, maybe we put one down there. Oh, hang on. Uh -huh. Probably get those out of my offhand. Uh, there we go. Okay, and uh, maybe we can have like an oak one down there. All right, looking good. And uh, maybe we could squeeze in a little, little birch one down there. All right, looking good. Could we potentially get some around here or something? Uh, oh, hey! Big oak! You gotta love the big oak, my friends. You gotta love the big oak. Okay, cool. Uh, and then maybe one... Can I even, like, get one? Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Looking good. Looking good! All right, and... Yeah! Actually, that really is looking good now. Yo! Dudes! We are making some serious headway with this. This is awesome. <laughs> All right, wow. Okay, so let's have a look at it now. Yeah, buddy. Right, so all we need to do now is grab a bunch of flowers. We've got the bone meal here, amongst other things. We've got a bunch of flowers that we've picked up so far. And yeah, all we've got to do is just sort of go around and start placing down the flowers, place down the bone meal, and everything should hopefully be looking good as a result. I'm kind of tempted to put vines down as well, but I'm not entirely sure if that would make this go a little bit too overboard. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I mean, we'll take it easy for now, and we'll see what we can do with the stuffs that we have currently. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. All right, guys, let's bring you guys back in a mo. Oh, guys, look at that. That is looking incredible. I decided not to put the long grass in too much. And as a result, I think this looks absolutely perfect. I think the distribution between the trees, the flowers, and the grass is pretty much perfect. Wow. Yo, I'm really liking this, like, legit. I'm actually really liking it. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. We're dealing with the mobs of the night at the moment, though. Right, so, yeah, that's looking really, really, really nice. I can't help but think there's something missing, though, and that is a waterfall of some description. I mean, we've got a water bucket. I mean, it, it, it's not that difficult to add in a little bit of a waterfall, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I guess we could always try and do this on camera with you guys. So, if we headed up the hill and just find, like, a random place to put a water source block, then we could potentially make this place look about ten times better. Uh, so, let's go up here. It's like a mini parkour course to get, go, to get up here. <laughs> all right, all right. So, this place seems like a pretty decent place to go. So, how's about we make it go down there? We can filter it down this way. Uh, make it go down here. And then, it will go over this way, perhaps. Yeah, okay. And then, down this way. And then, we'll have it go into the river. Right? I mean, that's, that's kind of what happens, isn't it? You get all of these little springs that come out and they go into the river or into the ocean. As Finding Nemo says, all places lead to the ocean. Right, anyways. Uh, I don't know why I quoted that, but anyways. Uh, boop, off we go. All right, hopefully that's all working correctly. Yeah. Okay, all that's left to do, in which case, is just make this into a... Yep, into a proper water source. Let's fill that back in. And... 
Yeah, that's that's looking pretty good. Okay, so that's definitely added something that this place needed. Uh, but we could definitely maybe do with a couple more. So how's about we have one start way up here. Uh, let's say here. And then we'll have it go around the leaves. Okay, we'll have it go down this way. Uh, down here. Okay. Looking pretty good so far. Oh, whoa, that's a little bit too low. Ah, a little bit too low. There we go. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And then we'll have it go down this way. It's going to be a nice meandering one, guys, at this point. A nice meandering little water source thingy. All right, looking cool. Oh, gosh, there's a whole bunch of zombies around. What the heck? What is there, a freaking zombie siege? There's not really a village nearby. I do not understand. But anyway, so let's make sure this all works correctly. Oh, you're going to get sweeped back downstream, my friend. Ah, <laughs> lol. You suck, lol. Oh, jeez, hello. Right, and off you go. And again, how's about we go ahead and just uh, fill this little source in. And we go. Hello there, sir. How are you doing there with your, with your swords and your freaking stuff? Right, you get out of there. Right, and we need to put that back in. All right, looking good. Okay, uh, let's have a look at it now. Ooh, yes. Yes. Much better. Oh, dude, that really was what this place was missing, isn't it? Some little water springs coming down the side. Okay, we could probably... Do you know what I'm going to try and do with this one? I'm going to try and have one water source, but have it split off to two different streams, right? Would that work? I mean, I feel like that would work. If you do it correctly, I feel like it could work. So let's have a start here this time. So it's going to be fairly low down already. Okay. And we'll have it come down here. And this is where we'll split off, right? So we'll have it go down this way. Uh, down there. Okay. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like thunder, like fork lightning, if you will. So we'll have one little fork coming off down here. And then where does it split? Over here. Okay. And then we'll have another fork. Oh, okay. Maybe not so much there. Uh, we can make it probably come over this way though. Yeah. Okay. Looking good. And we'll have it come over this way and then down into here. Yes, and then maybe we'll, like, uh, you know, add that in like that. Okay, looking good. All right, so if we come back up here, uh, so it comes up here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, is this thing going to split off? Uh, not really. Ah, oh, dang it, man. I really wanted that to split off. Ah, uh, maybe I could, like, uh, hmm. If I do this, yeah, there we go. That's done it. Perfect. Yeah, buddy. Hey, man, you gotta love it when things work, right? You gotta love it when things work. So we put you in there, and then I think the only other thing that's missing potentially is some sugar cane. I think some sugar cane could work really, really nicely here. So let's do that, and uh, let's put you in there. There we go. Oh, oh, huh. hello. <laughs> There's zombies everywhere, man. Jeez. Holy moly. All right, there we go. All right, so that's looking good. All we need to do now is grab out some sugar cane, and I think that's like the final element of this place. All right, so we'll grab some sugar cane, we'll put that in, and then hopefully we'll have ourselves another shade of green to work with. Yes, sounds good. And there we go, my friends. The sugar cane has been placed down. I think I did a pretty good job of putting it down pretty evenly, I guess. Uh, but yeah, that's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good. I think the other thing missing from this is maybe to put some glowstone in the trees, right? Hmm. Some etho trees, if you will. Yes. Yes, that sounds like a cool idea. So, if we were to head back over this way... I just realised my, my inventory is just completely jammed. Uh, I should probably do a little something. Oh, the, there's a doggy going after the skellies! <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, well, yeah, let's get rid of you, you, you... All right, and now we are going back to the out-of-this-world storage hut to grab ourselves out a stack of glowstone. You gotta love the glowstone. Oh, yeah. Right, and then let's just use this again and get back over here. Yeah, buddy. All right, and then all we gotta do is just sort of mine out a couple blocks here and there and then just try and chuck some glowstone in, rather like that. Yeah, you gotta love the glowing trees, my friends. Adding a little bit of a light source around here. Always nice to see, right? So, yeah, let's get you placed in there. Uh, we could probably get one placed in this tree. And, yeah, it is becoming daytime. So I'm not actually going to be able to see the light sources coming from the trees. Uh, not until it becomes nighttime again. So, yeah, just something to bear in mind, I guess. Uh, right, so let's get over this way. Gonna have a little bit going on over here. Boop. 
There we go. Oh, dang it. That didn't mean to do that, man. Jeez. All right, there we go. All right. And uh, one in here. Oh, yeah. Dude, like, dudes, like, honestly, this is going to look so good once it's finished. I'm, I'm so confident of the fact that this is going to look good. I mean, it's already looking good. But, you know, once we get these light sources in, I think this place is going to look absolutely banging. I really, really do. So, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I really, really do. Like, I feel like it's been a while since we've had a building episode, which is quite weird to say. Because normally, we have, like, several building episodes in a row. And then maybe, like, an exploring episode or something like that. So, I don't know, man. I, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I really, really do. A nice... A nice chill episode where we're doing a little bit of landscaping. It's always nice to have every now and again, so yeah, I mean, guys, if you are enjoying this episode, then obviously the best way to let me know uh, is by dropping a like rating, because honestly, guys, uh, you know, I really do appreciate all of you guys' feedback on the series, like, whether it be like, oh, hey, I want some more exploration episodes or something like that, like, honestly, all of that stuff really does help in terms of, you know, uh, helping me determine what kind of episode I want to do next, you know? So, yeah. Alrighty, so, uh, there's no tree there. There's one over here, though, which we could potentially do something with. Uh, so it'll go in this one. Boop, boop. There we go. Looking good. Uh, we've got a birch tree just up here. You know, we've got plenty of these trees around. We really, really do. So, I'm going to carry on doing this, and we shall see what it's looking like in a mo. Alrighty, guys, and for one final finishing touch, I think it'll be a nice idea to add a little bit of a, a, a leafy cobble wall in. So, maybe something like this, right? So, we'll have something like that. Maybe we can uh, bring that over rather like so. Okay, and then we continue bringing some other stuffs over this way. For example, maybe we'll have like that going on there. We'll have a little bit of this. All right, looking good. We'll keep the sugar cane there just as is because I think that looks pretty good as it is. Uh, we'll have a little bit of this and this and a little bit of that. Okay. Hmm. Maybe we add another leaf on top of the uh, little pillar sections, right? I think that'll look pretty good. All right, just to add a little bit of height variation. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's looking good. That's looking good. That is actually looking good. All right. So, boof, boof, and a boof. All right, looking good. Uh, maybe, we, I mean, this is going to be like a double. I mean, maybe not. I mean, maybe it could just do that. Yeah, okay. And then we could just put dirt down there and then just chuck down some cobble walls rather like that. All right, looking good. And again, oh, hang on. Jeez, man. Right, boof, boof, boof. And we can have another one in there. Nice and simple. You know, all of these really, really simple things you can do with your build, they really do add up, guys. And I absolutely urge you to go ahead and, and just give this kind of thing a go. Just just start randomly placing down blocks. And honestly, as you go along, you're going to you're gonna be able to make yourself something really, really cool looking, right? So, boop, boop, boop. So, for example, I'm going ahead and randomly placing down some of these here pillars, and it's looking good. I'm really enjoying this. I really, really am. It's like, honestly, one of my favorite things to do in Minecraft is just randomly placing things in and seeing if they work. And in most cases, if you do it right, it really does. It really does work. So, yeah. All right. And a little bit like that. Okay, and you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. And then maybe we have another little leaf pillar. All right, and then boof, 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 and another little pillar. Ah, oh, jeez, man. I keep mistakenly placing things in, dude. Right, boof, boof, and... Oh, sadly, I'm out of cobblestone walls. All right, well, there we go, my friends. That will signify the end of that particular section. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, my word. I can't, I can't put into words how happy I am with this right now, my friends. So we've gone from having a really boring-looking hill... To having this, like this is looking really, really nice. I'm, I'm very much a fan of this, my friends. I really, really am. And I really hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, this little chill episode where we've just gone ahead and just done a bunch of terraforming and making the landscape look nice. Like, guys, I, I really do... I, I can't I can't put into words like how happy I am with this. I really, really can't. Like, I can't even speak right now. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, we'll go ahead and end the episode there. We've got our common question of the video coming from Aliyah Gordon, who says, I don't know if you can, but I think it would be cool if you made an automated storage system. Great vid. You never fail to disappoint. Really appreciate the comments. As always, that really does mean the world to me. Like, honestly, it does. So, yeah. So, for those of you guys who remember my old Minecraft survival series, you may remember that I made a 
redstone shulker system. Uh, no, not a redstone shulker system. A rainbow shulker system. And I have plans on bringing that contraption back. Not only for this series, but also for Hermitcraft Season 6. Because honestly, it is one of the coolest things I've ever developed using redstone. It's probably the most advanced thing I've ever developed with redstone. And yeah, it's it's honestly a really, really cool thing. And I'd, I'd, I'd very much like to bring it back. So the concept is you've got a button. You press the button. It pops out a shulker box which has whatever you have in it and then it dispenses another shulker box in the exact same location uh you know on the same rainbow location so yeah it's a bit difficult to explain but you know if you guys watch my old survival series you know what i'm on about but guys thank you very much for watching if you guys have enjoyed this episode like i say a like rating would be super appreciated hit the subscribe button ding that bell as well if you don't want to miss out on future content my friends but uh, that's going to wrap it up for today thank you so much for watching have a fantastic rest of your day like i just said and i'll see you guys in the next episode.